Jesse from 1964 Supply Co. We're here at the Secret Walls venue and we're about to light it up with some amazing artists. We sent each artist a unique strain for them to explore. We sent Grape OG to Tristan Eaton. We sent Girl Scout cookies to Jeremy Fish. And the result, we think is pretty awesome. And now we're here at Secret Walls looking for the next generation of artists who we get to work with and we get to be a platform for to express their creative spirit. So usually before I start painting, I'll a lot of times I like to meditate or smoke even before I meditate and then kind of think about where I want to start and what I want to do. Yeah, and then I jump in. Smoking helps me like let loose and be a little bit more creative and bring different items and thoughts into my work. Just kind of get stuff out of the way and, and just kind of focus, essentially. I mean, I'll pick up a decent strain every now and again that'll really boost the creativity. And I'll be, I'll be smoking that pen the whole time I'm, I'm painting. It kind of keeps me in my zone, man. It keeps me away from the noise. It, it, it can dip you into different stages, you know, but I keep myself into the right one with it. You know, I have, I have a strategy with, with the use of marijuana. I need to map it out in a, in a, a sober state of mind. And I think that once, I'm, once I've sort of laid it out, I think that pot allows me to sort of like riff and kind of like find the piece and sort of sort of loosen up. Cannabis and creativity are two things that go hand in hand. Seeger Walls is about being a platform for up and coming artists. And that's why we think that Seeger Walls and 1964 make a pretty fucking awesome team.